What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charles Waller, it's Waller Photography, and today I'm gonna show you how to turn a small space like this one into something like this. It's the same room, same space. All I did was zoom in the camera a little bit more and now we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation in a room that looks a little bit more private. It looks like I'm talking to the camera and I can do a more uh, interview style video. If you follow my channel, you know that I spend a lot of time on the road and that makes some of my videos a little bit tricky to make because as you can see, I don't have a lot of space. I'm in a motorhome uh, and even though I have enough room, it's still a little bit difficult to make it look more professional. So let me show you all the steps and all the gear that I use to turn this space into my recording studio. I'm also gonna be adding links in the description to all the products that I use. Uh, these are affiliate links through Amazon, so if you purchase anything through those links, it doesn't even have to be the item on the link. Uh, I get a small percentage from Amazon. This is a great way to support the channel, uh, and it, it gives me the flexibility to continue doing what I do, travel and living my best life. So, One of the biggest things I use is this uh, curtain. It's made for photography, it's like a wrinkle-free curtain thing. Uh, that's the brand, like I said, I'll put a link in the description. It's black satin curtain so it doesn't reflect light and it works great. Now to set up the curtain, I also need these poles and two tripods. So <laughs> as you can see, we're already using quite a bit of uh, equipment. These are fairly inexpensive, they're lightweight, they're easy to travel with and they set up really easy. So I'll show you that next. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you, let me get this chair out of the way, is how to set up this, uh, these poles. And they're fairly easy, they just snap together and then they stretch. So they can go all the way across the room, as you can see. So that makes it really easy. And then with the tripods, the same thing. And this one actually fits right here behind my desk. So that's perfect. All right, let me thread the curtain and I'll speed this up so you can see how it works. I'm gonna hurry up here so the video is not a 20 minute video. When you buy these curtains, they usually sell them in different sizes. So now you can see that this one, that's how wide it is. It's a five by seven. So instead of five feet across, I'm gonna use seven. And for this, I have my favorite tool, Gorilla Tape. This thing works for everything. It's like my favorite photography tool that's not photography. So now I'm gonna drape it across and tape it because it doesn't have to be that long. I can work with the height because I'm going to be sitting down, so it doesn't have to be that tall. So I just drape it across, it gives me more length, and I am able to just tape it to the back and hold it steady, like this. So see now that's better, if I just drop the camera, Come on, Canon, focus. So now that's a little bit better. You don't see what's up there. You see me, you see the computer. Now I just have to do something with that window. So for this, I have another curtain. It's just a, a little cheap curtain that I bought years ago for, I can't remember what I used it for, but anyway, just a little bit of tape. So there you have it, a little bit of Gorilla Tape and things are starting to look a lot better. As far as lighting, uh, lighting is something that's very difficult in a small space like this. If I use the overhead lighting, it's gonna look very strange. The shadows and highlights, especially because there's just not enough light. So I use these, they're flat panel, uh, newer LED panel lights, LED lights. You can make them warm or you can dim them. You can either use batteries or uh, plug-in electric. And I choose to plug them in, these lights Put, have plenty of power uh, and they do an amazing job. Now these, this is a light diffuser, uh, it's a pop-up. Ideally you would want to use something that's very deep and that softens the light a lot, but I don't have the space to have a very deep diffuser. So I just use these and it definitely helps. Um, in the past I've used two or three lights, right now I'm only using one and I'm gonna put this diffuser on it so you see what it does. And there you have it. It changed the mood completely. Just one diffuser on the light and things look a lot softer, starting to look a lot better. But there's more. 
Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to look a little bit better. I have the background that looks completely uh, blacked out. Uh, things are looking good. I have one diffuse light, the, one of those newer lights with the diffuser, so it's a little bit softer light. Uh, unfortunately, it has to be fairly close to me because space restrictions, but so far it's looking pretty good. There's one more thing I like to add, and that is a different light color, which I use my little loom cube um, light thingy. So let me show you this real quick. You push and hold. It's on and I can change the brightness and also the color temperature. So right now I'm looking for a very warm light to cast in this side of my face. So I have a cool light and a warm light and that's the effect I'm going for. If I set this light about 50%, it should give me about three or four hours worth of light. Uh, how is 30%? I think 30% is good. I can see it here in the, in the viewfinder maybe, let's go to 45. Uh, at a warm light, and I'm gonna use this little tripod. I don't even know what it is. I've used it in the past for many things. So I'm gonna set it on the couch here. Okay, I made it a little bit brighter, so that gives me about two hours worth of light. But as you can see, it's giving me a little bit of warmer light on this side while I have a cooler light on this side. And this is just something I like to do. I like to mix up the lights. But I recently learned one more trick. This last trick I wanna share is this. I'm using a Himalayan pink salt lamp. If you're gonna have a warm light, you need a light source. Now this is not bright enough to cast a very bright light, but, and I can dim it so it looks uh, more natural, there we go. If you're gonna have a, a different color light, you need to show where the temperature is coming from and this works perfectly. It's not bright enough to interact or change much. It might give me a little bit of shadow here, but it, it gives you the reason why there's an orange light on this side of my face when you can't physically see the light. So this helps tremendously. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this set. Uh, there's a couple of changes I can do and I'll show you that here real quick. By changing the chair, I changed the whole, the whole scene of the room. And now I can be here having a conversation with you and it looks like we're in a completely different space. If I put the, the loom cube behind me and let me drop this here because now I can see the, uh, the top. So if I drop the tripod and there's a completely different setup and all I did was change the uh, chair I was using and just move the camera so I have completely back background and by adding this light behind my head you get a completely different uh, feel. It's the same room, same space. All I did was zoom in the camera a little bit more and now we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and I can do a more uh, interview style video. So uh, as you can see, pretty simple. Talking about the audio, the audio is very important too. Uh, for these videos, when I'm indoors like this, I continue to use the, what is this? Who makes it? The Rode Go 2. I use those microphones with a lavalier mic. And that's because if I use a shotgun mic, you're gonna hear echoes and you're gonna hear everything that's going on in the room. So I don't like that. To keep the audio right here uh, where I'm speaking, uh, there's nothing better than a small microphone like this. I've tried this mic in the past, the Yeti something. Not a big fan, uh, worth trying, but it's it, I'm, not for me. The curtains, everything helps. Um, dampen that noise but there's to me there's nothing better than just having the mic on you and then tweaking it in uh, in post just to make it sound like you want it to sound. As you can see this is a fairly simple way to set up a studio I mean it does have a lot of steps uh, I think it looks better than just having the the old setup like it was I like the the more intimate feel of just being one-on-one -on -one with the camera so this is where I go in the back and I trim my beard a little bit and change my shirt and then come back and film another video because when I do this, I like to film two or three videos at a time. Uh, that way it gives me time to process and edit and I don't have to worry about setting up this every time I wanna make a video indoors. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video, which could be, I don't know, anytime. Bye.
still here? Go home. It's over. We're done. <laughs>